Well, it's here. We received the news today, and while it wasn't necessarily the news a lot of us may have been expecting, nonetheless, I still have to say this is still pretty good news. Red Dead Redemption will be coming to PlayStation 4, PS5, and Nintendo Switch on August the 17th. It won't be a remaster, but rather, it's a conversion. Nonetheless, I still have to say this is pretty good news, because a lot of people who haven't played this game before will soon be able to play it. So why is this not a remaster, but rather a conversion or a port? Well, we have to go back to 2010 and the development of Red Dead Redemption 1. Unfortunately, the, the development for this game was a complete and utter nightmare. The coding was a total mess, and it really put the strain on the developers for this game, in particular Rockstar's executives. Nonetheless, um, while the news was breaking uh, over the last little while, the last few weeks regarding the ratings change in South Korea for Red Dead Redemption 1, it was always in the back of my mind, will this actually be a remaster because, because of the poor coding from 2010, the development nightmare, and the, 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 again, that the coding was a mess. So it is disappointing, but it is a realistic expectation that they weren't unable to remaster this game in the Rage engine that Red Dead Redemption 2 was developed in. Um, simply because, again, the, the coding for Red Dead Redemption 1 in 2010 was a mess. Now, to those who are very disappointed with this news, this development, I would simply say, look, I know we criticize Take-Two Interactive and Rockstar Games, and they have a lot to be criticized for. However, in this instance, they didn't say anything at all. They didn't make any announcements, pre-announcements, or promises or guarantees regarding a remaster. In my two previous uploads regarding the uh, build-up, the uh, news developments emerging from South Korea, the ratings change and whatnot, um, I did my best to avoid any kind of titles that were clickbait or clickbaity or leaned on that side, so I always posed it as a question. Unfortunately, not everybody on this platform does that, and I suppose people may have got caught up in the, uh, the clickbait that's out there. Um, still though, this is very good news because we will be able to play Red Dead 1. And this is good news because not only will people who've never played it before be able to play Red Dead 1 on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation, but it looks really cleaned up in the trailer. So let's get into it. Let's get into the Rockstar Newswire and see what they had to say. Experience the epic western adventure Red Dead Redemption and its groundbreaking zombie horror companion Undead Nightmare as both games come to the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 for the very first time in a single package. In a new conversion by Double Eleven Studios, the Switch and PS4 versions bring the two classic experiences together again for both new players and original fans to enjoy across modern consoles, including backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 5. The update today on the Rockstar Newswire didn't include a lot of information for Red Dead 1 or Undead Nightmare, and in fact that first part of the Newswire, that second paragraph, uh, you may have saw there as I read the first part, or the first paragraph, it was really just information about the game, the basics of the game, what it's about. Nonetheless here for uh, Undead Nightmare, um, again, there's just a, a very little information. It just, you know, briefly mentions how you're John Marston and you have to survive zombie hordes and search for a cure um, in this supernatural twist on the Red Dead Redemption world, but also that um, the new uh, release or the, this conversion, this port for Red Dead 1 and Undead Nightmare. It will include additional languages such as simplified and traditional Chinese, Korean, Polish, Brazilian, Portuguese, Russian, and uh, Spanish. And as well, um, it will be $50 on the Nintendo Switch eShop and the PlayStation Store. Um, with the physical discs or releases coming on October the 13th. I know it is uh, rather unfortunate about the price, $50 for a 13-year-old game. But again, it does look cleaned up. Uh, I didn't share any clips from the trailer for Red Dead 1. 
which is available on YouTube to, to check out. Uh, simply because I didn't want to risk getting hit with a copyright strike from uh, Rockstar Games or Take-Two Interactive. But regardless, take a look at the trailer. The gameplay, it does look much better than 2010. It really does look cleaned up and much more refined and, and much more crisp. And yeah, I have to say this is good news. I do feel bad for those who um, are disappointed. And I do feel your disappointment because we have been disappointed a lot by Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive. But still... A lot of us who didn't get to play this back in 2010 will now have that opportunity to do so. And um, and again, it also includes Undead Nightmares. So I, I would take this as a good um, piece of news today. And I will definitely be featuring Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare in upcoming live streams and uploads. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.